Cushing's Bookshelf, episode 28. Horror Anthology Month begins. And welcome back to Cushing's Bookshelf. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, this month I'm going to take a look at horror anthologies. Uh, to be honest, I have not talked about horror books all that much uh, on this little web program. And this is a perfect season to do it, uh, right? So, um, what I'm going to do is um, share my thoughts about three or four anthologies that I particularly like um, and talk a little bit about horror anthologies in general. So this will be the first week and I'll have an episode up probably for each of the remaining two weeks, I think, after this week um, in October. So it should be about three episodes all together. So let me start off with this one, um, anthology that's actually very near and dear to my heart, um, Darkness, Two Decades of Modern Harm, edited by Ellen Datlow, um, published by Tachyon, which is not a publisher that you typically think of when you think of horror, but they did publish this as a pretty snazzy cover, I think. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, the common thread connecting all of these stories is that Datlow originally published them in some other venue, uh, either Omni Magazine or in uh, her Best Horror of the Year or, or its predecessor uh, uh, anthology series uh, or something along those lines. Um, so uh, it reflects her aesthetic very well. Uh, you know, the kinds of stories that, that she prefers. And a lot of them are um, more quiet, more subtle sorts of stories. Um, and stories I really enjoyed, by and large. Um, there's a Stephen King story in here that I thought was kind of a clunker. Um, but by I think that was the only one that really didn't seem like it was up to the competition um, or didn't seem like it really belonged in the same league as the other stories. Um, sorry, Stephen King. He's done some good work, but um, in this particular anthology, uh, his piece, short story called Chattery Teeth, I think, or Ch Chattering Teeth. Um, but it's like, a, you know, I, I think in my Goodreads review of this anthology, I said it was like a, a subpar episode of Tales from the Crypt. Um, so, yeah, again, sorry. I know lots of people love his work but that story didn't do it for me. But I'm dwelling too much on the negative. The positive is there is a lot of great stuff in here. The story I love the most in this anthology uh, is a story by Glenn Hirschberg, um, who should be far better known than he is. Um, and it's a story called Dancing Men, I believe. Um, and you see poor Hirschberg doesn't even make the, uh, the cover here. Um, he's just among those summarized as and more. Um, but yeah. Um, so if you, yeah, you know, Glenn Hirschberg's Dancing Men, um, it's probably, it's about 30 some pages long. So novelette length, maybe something along those lines. Um, and it's a great story about the intergenerational effects of trauma, specifically the trauma of the Holocaust. Um, and so, and one of the things that I've seen um, in Hirschberg's uh, fiction in general is a real expertise at depicting intergenerational effects of catastrophe, either um, the uh, uh, catastrophe of the Holocaust in this story, or the catastrophe, like kind of like environmental catastrophe, uh, in another one of his stories. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wish that uh, that he was better known. Uh, but overall, a good um, review for this anthology. And uh, what I like about it is that it's a bit of a time capsule, and that's I think anthologies at their best are time capsules. They, you know, in this case, it specifically, uh, Datlow was focusing on about 20 years, I think from like 1985 to like 2004, maybe something like that. So if you want to have a sense of, you know, who was active in the field at the, at the time, this is actually a very good 
um, way to get in touch with that. And also a good way to get in touch with Detlow's aesthetic, what she prefers. Um, so if you're a writer and if you want to sell a story to Detlow, this might be a good like basic thing to get a sense of what her tastes were like, at least at that time. Um, of course, she's done lots of editing work since then. But anyway, so again, three cheers for Darkness, Two Decades of Modern Horror. And next week, I'll have another anthology to talk about. All right. So take care and have a great week.